I'm going to make this video fast and urgent. I've been given some information that I really need to mull over before I go public with it. I trust where it comes from. I'm a little bit afraid to begin speaking on it. I've been quiet about a lot of things because I have been told to stay quiet, but I'm coming to the point where I just can't anymore. I'm not afraid of being killed. I'm not afraid of uh, dying for my country, the people I love. I've made that commitment to God, to my loa, to the spirits. I've made that commitment to my family, my temple, the people I care about. I've bled, I've made others bleed in the name of my ideologies, in the name of freedom, in the name of what this country has to offer. So someone putting an end to me, uh, that's not what I worry about. What I worry about is not living a life that's true to my values. And this is something that I need to mull over because I need to make sure I'm right with what I'm being told before I go public with it. I'm also not suicidal. So if anything happens to me, it is not because I would do anything to myself. I'm way too egotistical to, <laughs> to kill myself. So I just want to preface it with that. Sometime in late January, I think January 26th, 25th or 26th, I did a spiritual ovation for our president, Donald J. Trump. In it, I got the feeling that there would be an assassination attempt within three months. About a week later, there was an SUV that crashed through the Marlago. Uh, shots were fired. A lot of people contacted me and said, whoa, whoa, that could be it. And while that was a, a suspicious happening, I am hesitant to jump on and say that was an assassination attempt, although maybe it was. I have never heard yay or nay on that. My connections run fairly deep, but not deep enough for some things, deep enough for others, though. So I want to go public with this, and this is something that's been bugging me for a little while. I noticed how Trump and Pence were put in the same place and that they were exposed to individuals that had the coronavirus. I believe that there will be an assassination attempt on President Trump and or Vice President Pence, probably more Trump than Pence, but I believe they will use the coronavirus much like m most of the Iranian leadership has been dying due to this virus. I believe that they will use another bioweapon that might be more specific to Trump, definitely deadlier, and they could blame that on the coronavirus as an assassination, and most people would probably buy it. I know that the true patriots, I know that those who are really libertarians, conservatives, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, won't buy it, but the majority of the left will celebrate and go along with it. If not an assassination attempt, they might try and use Trump being uh, deathly ill to remove him from power, which would leave Pence. But if they get rid of Pence, this is why I'm thinking it's going to be more of an assassination attempt that would put Pelosi in power. And that, that is something you just don't want. I want to preface this with saying... Strangely, that's not even the, the biggest information, but but look for that. And actually, I, I want people to maybe get that message as close as they can, uh, or at least start spreading it and talking about it. Because if you're watching how the Iranian leadership has almost been just annihilated, we're looking at what I firmly to be to believe uh, and what I'm being shown and have been shown. If you guys go through some of my blogs, I've been talking about this for three fucking years at least. Um, it's It's been something that's coming to me over and over and over again, way back even before it was called Disease X, before Bill Gates are talking about it. If you know who I am, you know who these blogs are. Maybe I'll post them, maybe I won't. For those of you who do know, maybe post those blogs for other people. Uh, let them see what we've been talking about, especially the diseases coming out of the Congo, diseases coming out of Madagascar, 
the uh, incubation periods in human bodies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. COVID-19, it seems to be a collaboration of all those things that for the last three years I have been invoking spirits and speaking about, things have been coming to me and talking about, and I have been putting step by step even the dreams that I've had that I've posted, uh, the experiences, the, um, the visions I've had, I've posted black winds coming from China, coming over the sea, et cetera, et cetera. This is two years ago. Uh, this is almost exactly what's happening now. So I still get some discombobulated messages and I'm trying to be very careful with them, but, um, I do have a couple things I will post. I would love for you to say, um, the prayer for at least part of partial prayer for the medium for Trump, and then also a prayer for spiritual protection. I will post those in the link. I don't want to go over them right now uh, because that's going to break my train of thought and that's going to break my connection that's coming in. So what I want to say is this. The coronavirus that I know for sure that was released here in the United States was released before it happened in Wuhan, China. Wuhan, China was a retaliation for what China did to us first. What happened in Wuhan was a retaliation, was a race-specific bioweapon targeting Chinese people. Why? One, late 2019, massive fentanyl um, shipments were found coming into the United States. These are all from China. They had enough to wipe out most of the world population. China was running a chemical warfare military operation to kill Americans. They are largely responsible for the opiate crisis. There was a great deal of street level drugs that were laced with fentanyl. And they seem to indicate that they had planned to put them in our medications uh, perhaps even our food and our water. That would have wiped out a huge portion of, of the United States, allowing us to be invaded. They released also a non-race specific strain of the coronavirus. This is something that they had bought from the, from the Obama administration. They had been working on it in China. They had been stealing information from professors here in the States and also other places, other weapons labs, specifically Canada, other places. Yes, this tra traces back to Bill Gates. Yes, he's involved. Yes, his, stem his uh, stepping down uh, does indicate to me that he is going on the run and he's meaning to hide. So fuck Bill Gates. The stuff that we work with, the hand that we have, no barrier can stop it. And the hand that we will have, Fuck him. It will get him. We will work to make sure that the spectral hand, the spectral hand of retribution gets Bill Gates for this. But because China was posed to do extreme damage, there was retribution against China, a race based specific bioweapon, a COVID-19 style disease was released upon them and it ran havoc on them absolutely absolutely devastated china unfortunately trump's got some pretty shitty advisors around him he has not capitalized on this i believe that he's being blackmailed i believe believe that he's being extorted and he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing he tried to play it down with china i think that he wanted this to go away he wanted china's back to be broken but he still need he still knows that we need them for resources they have to pay a $250 billion a year tariff to do, to do business with us. I believe that's going to keep them financially destitute. There's also talk and things that I have, I have heard that I've asked others and they have confirmed this, that part of the treaties that Trump put up with him means that the Chinese people have to be treated fairly. They cannot be treated as slaves. They have to receive fair wages. And this also will keep the Chinese government from rising up again, becoming a true superpower. Trump is also arming and empowering India, which is right next to China, to basically keep China at bay, to keep them chopped down, and to keep them a second world nation. 
China did not do this on its own. China received massive donations. China was f funded huge amounts of money from, dare I say, Illuminati. Thankfully, people have been using, have not been using that term for a while uh, because they were using it incorrectly. But these individuals, the uh, British, the Anglo-Saxon conspiracy, definitely used China. I believe that they are happy with the fact that there was a retributive bioweapon put against them because this also brings China down for them. I don't think they wanted China to actually take over the world. They were just using China, but it also helps us. So they're not going to complain. It helps weaken China. We could have used it uh, to build a better relationship with China. I think that's what Trump wanted to do, but the people around him just didn't let him do it. They didn't advise him correctly, and I think they hampered his ability to make choices and to get certain decisions done. So we need to make sure that Trump gets a clear communication with what the people really want. And we do not want martial law. We do not want quarantines. Because the truth is, everyone has this. Everyone has it. You're not going to be able to hide. You're not going to be able to go underground. Nothing. If you breathe the air, it's in there. There's at least four or five different strains of weaponized coronavirus floating around right now. Other countries have released it. I am almost dead certain that Israel has released their own. I know that China released a secondary one. I know that other countries have released it. Uh, it is sort of a scorched earth policy that if one person's going to get it, fuck you all are going to get it. The nice thing is all we have to do is keep our immune, our, our immune system strong. Largely, what this does, it seems to be three-pronged. It hits you with the viral. It weakens your immune system. You might be able to throw it off. You might not. Then, boom, you're hit with a secondary and then third um, reinfection. The secondary, because that your immune system is already really weakened, that allows you to be hit with bacterial or microbial infections. If we can keep our immune system strong, then we can go through those reinfection processes and be just fine. This is not gonna be a extinction level event, but what this will do is kind of like the Spanish flu, it'll knock the world population down by two, 3%, maybe four. But the real danger in this right now is the draconian power grab that could be happening. I know that the UN has talked about putting peace, uh, so-called peacekeepers here in the States to help out with quarantines. I know that there's this idea now that cash is, 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 is diseased and we shouldn't use uh, cash anymore, that we should stay at home more, that drones will deliver us food and all the necessities. We can look at uh, things like travel restrictions all this 1984 draconian Nazi bullshit because this is where the idea of these super flus and these viruses come from. You can thank individuals of New World Order. You can thank those kind of people. You can thank those people who have called for uh, world depopulation for the last 30 years publicly uh, for the, because they're the ones that started this. They're the ones that gave China the idea the means, the know-how to get this shit done and to send it to us and to cause the problem that we're in. The nice thing is, is that we can band together. If right now Trump says, look, no, we're no longer depending on China for our manufacturing. Fuck all you liberal leftards. Fuck all you democratic morons. We are bringing manufacturing back to the United States. If the United States needs it, the United States creates it we manifest it here if others country if other countries want it they can buy it from us no longer do we need to buy it from other countries this is bullshit the united states can take care of itself we just need to get the reason and the means back and i think trump and the administration definitely see this as a possibility we can pull ourselves out of the jaws of defeat right now if we all get together and start screaming America can take care of itself, but we need the manufacturing. We need to get out of all these just asinine, crippling, economically bleeding, useless, useless environmental laws that were placed as like green cords 
green collars, green shackles to make the United States into a service-based economy, no longer a manufacturer-based economy, and keep us perpetually in a uh, just-in-time economy, uh, highly dependent on, on other sources for our medicine, for our food, for our, our electronic components, all these things, we need to go back to manufacturing. That is what we need to do. And we can make this thing, whatever it is, now it is a global pandemic, exactly like I was saying a couple weeks ago, a month ago, when I was screaming about this, and I was telling people, you better take this seriously. And the majority of the United States was like, eh, whatever. Well, <laughs> time to wake the fuck up finally, you know? Um, God damn it. So we have the opportunity to make good things out of a bad situation. My other fear and something I'm, I'm, I'm a tiny bit excited about is this could lead to a type of wealth distribution uh, civil war with the have-nots, the slothful idiots, the moronic left, the um, Antifa twats, the um, MS-13, um, all those people who are basically professional leeches on society as it is, seeing that they have nothing, seeing that they're about to have nothing, that we're going into quarantines, that people are afraid. Uh, you, you really want to talk about who are the scum, the garbage people of the United States. Look no further than your typical leftist your typical SJW, because those are the people who, because they don't prepare, they have no real functional skill, their gender studies means nothing out of their worthless classroom. They're the first ones, I mean, because they obviously need their meds, their antipsychotics, their anti-depression. I mean, believe me, if I was one of you, I'd want to kill myself also. So I would want to do myself some serious harm. I know you can't figure out why you're, you look in the mirror and be like, God, I should just stand in front of a bus. It's because you suck so much that, I mean, that's what it is. So, uh, you know, maybe the bus remedy isn't such a bad idea, but you guys are the first that will go kick in the door of an old person's house and bash them in the head with, I don't know, like a chair, assuming you could lift it, um, or, you know, raid their refrigerator, take their medication and just leave them to die. The left is the first that will do this. I promise you these, these hobgoblins, these blue haired fucking trogelites are going to take to the streets in a giant hungry hoarding idiot mass because they don't have toilet paper, because they can't grow food, because they don't know how to fucking live without pulling up to a drive through window and ordering a supersized number two or whatever it is the fuck they, they stuff their faces with. They don't know how to live without that. And the moment that they don't have that readily available, everyone else's door is going to become their personal drive through So... That's going to, to to spark off a civil war. That's going to spark off a, a battle of clans and tribes. I don't necessarily want that to happen, but if it does, man, we're going to eliminate a lot of problems within the week. Because <laughs> I promise you the left isn't going to win. But that's not what I'm calling for. What I'm calling for is a reformation of how we do things here to get manufacturing back in the West, back in the United States. So I know I've rambled a little bit. I've talked about the assassination attempts of Trump, which is very important. And we really need to make sure that he understands that he's in a position where he is being set up. He is absolutely being set up. I am, I am feeling this. I am getting told this. There was a big message that went out to me today that I'm not going to get into about it. But the fact that the media is suggesting that he might have coronavirus right now puts him in a very bad position. Because if he were to get it and die in the next week, to die you know, in the next two weeks, they will say it is because it's coronavirus. And I promise you it is not. 
Trump needs to have the wherewithal, the spiritual protection, the understanding, the insight, the crown of God, the shroud of the sacred Mary, the shroud, the the sword and shield of St. Michael, the armor of St. George. He needs to have this stuff put on him right now. He needs you people to pray for him in whatever way that you feel is best. You guys need to, in your hearts, mean it and try and get the word out that his assassination attempt could be very, very legit because of the things that they are setting him up to have. He needs to understand that he needs to have the best people around him and not the fucking toadies, not the morons that he's surrounded himself so far. He's got good people around him, but he's still got a lot of bad people. And those are the individuals who would gladly help administer some other form of bioweapon that could get released. And if, God forbid, and I, I, I don't even like to think of this, if that does happen, to never, ever, ever, ever accept that it was a mistake, to always know it was an assassination, and to not accept whatever power steps up, because I believe they're going to try, try to take out Trump and Pence, and that leaves Pelosi, and you know, with all the failed attempts, the failed fucking Russia gate, the failed fucking Ukraine thing, whatever a bullshit they've come up, whatever massive, gigantic fucking lies that have wasted taxpayer money, that have wasted time, that has destroyed lives, and nothing has ever panned out. I, I have said this many times. The only other option they had was some sort of bioweapon to remove Trump from office. And boom, that's exactly what they went to. It seems as though this thing has been prepared for for months. It seems as though San Francisco has been looking for quarantine advisors, that there has been a quiet thing out there going on for at least a month or two. Now, I do know that this also, because coronavirus was released in the United States before it hit China, that that could have had something to it, but there seemed to be way too many people in the know about it. So that has me a little suspicious. The other information that I have, I'm not ready to give out. I don't know. I need to, I need to validate it. I need to see who else can validate it for me. And if it is, I will go loud and proud and super public. If not, then I'm just going to sit on it uh, because it has no relevance. And this kind of information, I don't even want getting out there because it could spark ideas. And I don't even want ideas being sparked if they're not actually out there anyways. So I'm going to post links to the specific prayers that I would, I would really, really want you to offer to Trump. They are in the name of God. If I, some of you don't like voodoo, some of you ask me like, you know, why do you do this? Because it's in my, because it is my spiritual matrix. It is what I love. It is what comes to me. It is what's protected me. And I still love God and I still love this country. And that religion is the first religion ever to throw off the, the, the most successful human slave revolt in, in known human history. So that says a fucking lot about the power of that religion and how powerful God moves through that religion. So that religion, little Haiti overthrew French rule and even chased Napoleon <laughs> With, with his leg, with with his tail tucked between his legs, away from Haiti, and believe you me, that came with the authority and the permission of God. So, you know, maybe rethink some of your issues because a lot of you come to me and be like, "Holy, holy fuck, you're right on," but I I don't like how you do it. Well, too bad, man. That's never, ever, ever going to change. And if I can do it and you can't, maybe you reconsider what you think you know or be more open. So I'm going to post those links, a little bit of a rambling video, but for those of you who can read between the lines, you'll know why I put it out there. <laughs>